King Jesus, King Jesus. Okay, hey. Apparently there's some good news report about Ebola. Uh, it says here in a CNN report that uh, a doctor treats Ebola with HIV drug in Liberia, seeming successfully. This report is by Elizabeth Cohen, uh, science medical correspondent, posted on uh, September 27th. And it says that uh, a doctor in rural Liberia inundated with Ebola patients says he has good results with a, a, a treatment he tried out of sheer desperation. It's an HIV drug. Dr. Gobi Logan has given the drug lamividin to 15 Ebola patients and all but two survived. That's a 7% mortality rate. Across West Africa, the virus has killed 70% of its victims. Outside Logan's Ebola Center in Tubman Burg, four of his recovering patients walk the grounds, always stand inside the fence that separates the Ebola patients from everyone else. My stomach was hurting. I was feeling weak. I was vomiting. Elizabeth Kondu, 23, says of her bout with the virus. They gave me the medicine and I'm feeling fine. We take it and we can eat. We're feeling fine in our bodies. Kondu and the other 12 patients who took the lamividin and survived received the drug in the first five days or so of their illness. The two patients who died received it between day five and eight. I am sure that when the patients present early, this medicine can help, Dr. Logan said. I've proven it, I've proven it right here in my center. Logan is mindful that lamividin can cause liver and other problems, but he says it's worth the risk since uh, Ebola is so deadly. Let's look at the video. We're taking you inside an Ebola isolation unit in rural Africa. A worker carrying our camera. Going deeper, still more sick patients. Children. I think a situation like this, I have to use every brain cell to save some people's lives. This is our central supply room. For Dr. Gobi Logan, desperate times call for desperate measures. While the world waits for a proven Ebola drug, he's experimenting with an HIV drug called lamivudine. In order for everyone in the unit not to die, I think I need to try this medication. This is as close as I can get to this Ebola isolation unit. And I want to introduce you to four young women, Elizabeth, Susan, Fatu, and Masa. They came here with Ebola, but they were given the HIV drug, and now they're doing well. They're able to walk around, and they'll be discharged soon. So ladies, tell me, how, how do you feel now? You take it to our new farm, they get you all that thing, we feel it fine, we can pick it, we eat, fine, we feel it fine, yeah, buddy. Dr. Logan has tried the drug on 15 patients so far, and remarkably, only two have died. Across West Africa, the outbreak is killing at a rate of 70%, but in this group of patients, just 7%. Is it possible that an effective treatment for Ebola may have come from here, from your Ebola treatment center in, in this rural area? Yes, it's highly possible. We reach out to top scientists in the U.S. Does Dr. Logan's approach make sense? They say yes. Ebola and HIV cells are a lot alike, but they want a lot more proof. In the United States, some doctors would say, no, don't use a drug until you've had a study. You need a study first. Yeah. What would you say to that? Oh, well, Elizabeth, our people are dying, and you're talking about study. It's the, it's the matter of doing all that I can do as a doctor to save some people's lives. So that's the report from CNN. Lymphedin is commonly called uh, 3TC. And it's produced by, uh, well, it's marketed by GlaxoSmithKline with the name uh, Zephix Epivir, which is the uh, brand that you saw in the video, Epivir and Epivir HPV. 
says it's been uh, used to treat chronic hepatitis B at a lower dose than for treating uh, HIV. It improved the conversion of each antigen positive hepatitis B and also improved the histology of the liver. Since long-term use leads to the emergency of resistant hepatitis B virus mutant. Since despite this, lamivudin is still widely used as it is well tolerated. It is on the World Health Organization list of essential medicines. See, that is a list of the most important medications needed in a basic healthcare system. Uh, Lamivudin is an analog of cytidine. Cytidine is just one of the four basic components of DNA uh, that uh, are used to make strands of DNA. It's one, it's one of, uh, it comprises one, an element of one of two base pairs. It say it can inhibit uh, both types of HIV reverse transcriptase and also reverse trans transcriptase of hepatitis B. It is phosphorylated to active metabolites that compete for incorporation into viral DNA. It says they inhibit the HIV reverse transcriptase enzyme competitively and act as a chain terminator of DNA synthesis. So this is a pretty good approach. It can be given orally and is rapidly absorbed by the body. It says it can also cross the blood brain barrier. And it can also be given in combination with Zytovudin, with which it, it is highly synergistic. So this might be a, a great approach to treating this disease. Okay, that's uh, that's the report. Uh, I hope uh, you cheered on as I am. <laughs>